Welcome back to another video, everybody. As always, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss an upload. Leave a like if you do enjoy the content. Comment whatever you'd like to see next. Today, we're going to be talking about this very easy 3D flying camera effect that you see in this new Young Thug and Gunna ski music video. So this was directed by Omar Jones. Shout out to Omar Jones. Awesome director. Here's his ad if you guys want to look him up. We're going to be talking about this very easy little effect that you can do within After Effects. So you see how they're adding in these swivels. You have the motion blur, and they're able to go from this outward distorted kind of 3d view and seamlessly zoom in to a forward looking shot just like that just by changing some controls so some really cool stuff top into adobe after effects i'm going to show you how we can do it here's my version of just experimenting creating some cool little effects with this um, adding in some motion blur some transitions all using just that same effect because i'm not using a blank white room like they have in the original music video there's a lot more things being distorted so that's another key aspect to this for me using a clip where there's a lot more going on you're gonna see a lot more with our distortion so keep that in mind if you want to match it to that music video you need to use a subtle background without a lot going on so now let's go ahead and start from scratch I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition just by clicking this button here on the left we'll name that tutorial and then I'm gonna drag in the exact same footage that I used I'm also gonna right click on that footage and transform and fit to comp so here's the full screen I got this from pexels.com, royalty free footage, if you guys would like to follow along. So the effect that we're gonna use for this is called CC environment. So just go to your effects and presets, search for CC environment. I really love what you can do with this. Now, as soon as you apply it, you're not gonna see anything happen. It's gonna turn black. That's because we need to right click in this gray space down here and we need to go to new and we need to create a new camera. So once we create a new camera, you'll be able to see our footage actually come back. So let's select our original footage here and we're gonna go up in the top left to our effect controls. So you have three different ways to map this spherical probe and vertical cross if you guys want you can experiment with probe or vertical cross for this purpose i'm only going to use spherical the only other things you need to know here is you have your horizontal pan it pretty much turns the footage into this spherical 360 degree globe that i can pan around and if i take my lens distortion i can zoom out and you can pretty much have this infinite tunnel that you're zooming out from so if you want to zoom out a little bit so you can see more and then you can use your panning you'll see here's where the scene kind of cuts off so knowing what i just told you we can create some cool animations using keyframes and we can add some motion blur so let's start off by putting our lens distortion back to zero so let's set up a simple little keyframe we're going to start at the beginning of our timeline i'm going to toggle the animation for my horizontal pan and my lens distortion i'm going to drag a little bit and i'm going to start making some adjustments so do i want to swivel over to the right if i open up my footage open up effects you guys will be able to see the keyframes that i'm actually creating here so it's up to you guys for how much you really want to distort this if you want to make it crazy you guys can crank it up like this and it's going to really start to distort the key to making this a lot more smooth is adding motion blur so to do that all you need to do is enable this motion blur switch right here so the three little dots enable that and then you need to enable motion blur for the actual clip so if you click toggle switches and modes you'll be able to see these switches and you'll have your motion blur switch go ahead and enable that for footage and now you'll see that that blur instantly kicks in so here's the difference we'll turn that on and off you guys can see how that blur is kicking in and if you want to change how much blur there is you just go up to composition comp settings and then under advanced here this shutter angle, if you crank that up, you're gonna see how that adds so much more motion blur. I like keeping it around 360. If we want it even faster, again, drag those keyframes in. And now you can see how this really snaps into place just by changing the duration of our keyframes. If we want that to be longer, again, you guys drag those and pull them out. So let's keep adding some keyframes. Another cool thing that you guys can do with this, because we have this camera that we placed down originally, you guys can use the camera controls to also pan around in your scene. So if I open up transform for my camera and maybe I create some keyframes with that as well. So we'll just click and drag to toggle on the animation. Let's go ahead and first make this a 3D layer because if we don't make that a 3D layer, we won't be able to move around. So just click toggle switches and modes again for this little 3D layer switch here, enable that for our footage. Now you guys can use your camera tool to make any adjustments. So I can zoom in here, I can pan a little bit, and that's just going to add some more control into what I'm trying to focus in my scene. We were able to make this little whoosh turn, have all this crazy distortion at the end, and then zoom into this regular footage of him playing the guitar. So that's what I mean by going from this distorted outward view and being able to seamlessly transition into normal footage just like that. Just using some animations within CC environment and then adding motion blur so that it's not as robotic and it feels a little bit more natural and seamless. So that's really about it, guys. You guys can keep continuing and adding in different animations. You can go to your footage and keep changing things with your horizontal pan and with your lens distortion. If you really wanna keep going down the rabbit hole with it and just adding in more things that you can do, 
you see here's that original little sequence I made, adding some different zooms. And you'll see if you really zoom out, you can get some really insane looking stuff. All right, guys, so as a little bonus tip before we end the tutorial, another cool thing you can do with that CC environment effect in After Effects, head over to hdrihaven.com or just look up HDRI image, and you guys can search for all of these 360 degrees backgrounds. So this is great for if you're creating a green screen music video or you just want a 3D environment where you can play some different things in there. So once you find something that you like, all you need to do is download this AK Tone Map JPEG. These should all be for free, which is awesome. So we'll save that in there. And then I'm going to show this image in a folder and just drag that directly into After Effects. And you can see 8K, so it's pretty huge compared to my 1920 by 1080 comp. You could go ahead and scale that to frame size. And then I'll go to my effects and presets and look up that CC environment. Once we place that here, and then again, create our camera. So right click, new camera, you guys will be able to see, you now have this 360 degrees environment where you can place any green screen footage, you can change it around, you can animate it with that motion blur that I just showed you, you can distort it, you can zoom into it. Again, if you guys have green screen footage, I'm gonna drag this in. This is again from pexels.com. I'm gonna right click and transform, fit that to comp. I'm gonna search for the key light effect in my effects and presets, and we'll drag that onto the green screen footage and just take out the green. You have a pretty convincing shot where you're able to change all of the different aspects of the background. If you want, you can add some motion blur and create some of this kind of stuff. If you want some cool trippy looking background things for your music video or whatever it is you're doing. Or alternatively, what you can do, we can delete CC environment and we can actually pre-compose the green screen and the background footage together. So I'll right click and pre-comp it. And then we can apply environment onto that pre-comp and now you've kind of pasted anything you put into your image into this 3D HDRI like image, which is kind of cool, kind of creepy. Maybe it'll get some things working for you guys looking to make some cool stuff. I'm sure if you scale this down a bunch like that and then pre-comp it, it won't be as distorted. Then we'll use our camera. You guys can see, and you guys can see the power of using that pre-comp with our green screen footage. So I hope that helped you guys. Just a quick little effect showcase for you guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Like I said, comment down below if there's any other video you'd like me to make a tutorial on. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.